Hello, my Scorpio family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for the week of December 21st through the 27th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you if you already subscribed to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe, and join me each and every day for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, just a brief reminder, these are general readings. Take what resonates and just leave the rest. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. Okay, Scorpio, starting off with your first card. You have the Major Arcana card, the Hierophant. Following, Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio. And we will get to those cards in just a little bit. So getting back to your first card here, which is your anchor card for the reading. Now, one message coming through right away from my guides is that your faith is going to be tested this week. What you believe in and who you believe in. It's going to be challenged this week by either a situation around you or an individual. Now, for other Scorpios, when the Hierophant card shows up in a reading, it is an indication that it's time to examine your beliefs and see if they still hold true to what you were taught, how you were raised. Do you still believe in those teachings? Now, for some, the Hierophant card is representing you, Scorpio. You could be an advisor, a minister, a teacher. This is someone who has a great influence over a large group of people. And if this resonates with you, Scorpio, the Hierophant card is showing up asking you if what you're teaching is still flexible enough so that your students can integrate it into their own lives. Otherwise, it might be too rigid and not practical for day-to-day -day living. Now, for other Scorpios, the Hierophant card is turning up, telling you it's time to really examine what you believe in. Maybe question what you were brought up on. What influenced you? Maybe you don't feel that way anymore. This card is indicating who or what has been your teacher all this time, Scorpio. And do the lessons that you've learned serve you at this time in your life? Because the Hierophant shows up indicating it might be time to seek out some new inspiration, a new teacher. It pretty much points you to go in a new direction. Now, this could be a whole other faith. This could be spirituality. And the best way to know if the Hierophant card is in regards to you this week, Scorpio, when you've been making decisions, do you base those decisions on what you believe you should do? Or are you tapped into your higher calling? What your authentic, true self tells you you should do? That's the question you need to ask yourself when the Hierophant card shows up. Now, this is actually Taurus's card. It's a very stubborn energy, very determined, persevering. And this card's associated with two of your chakras, your fifth chakra, and that is your throat chakra, how you communicate to the world. And then your seventh chakra, and that's your crown chakra, and your direct communication with the divine. So these two chakras with this card combined are bringing about, do you need a different communication with the divine spirit, source energy? whatever name you use for that one consciousness. And the number five energy of this card is a difficult energy. Five is a number of shaking things up, breaking old habits or old beliefs. It's almost like passing through fire to be made stronger kind of energy. It is the challenge that's put before you when you start down a new path, especially one for new spiritual growth. Five is the number of the throat chakra. So definitely how you communicate, what you have to say, how you say it, that is what the Hierophant card is addressing this week. 
Now your next card, the Five of Pentacles. Not a surprise as this is a holiday week and this card can be indicating that there's a lack of money or other resources that you need for this week. And you're anxious about being able to meet your goals, which in this case for this week is having enough money to give presents to everyone that you want to. Now for some Scorpios, I'm picking up that you're going to sacrifice something from yourself in order to provide some type of material comfort for others. And this is also something that can be very common during this holiday gift giving week. But for some Scorpios, the five of pentacles can be showing up because there is a true sense of security that is being threatened this week. Things can be a bit unstable and you might have to rely on the support of others. Now for some Scorpios, you're not asking for the help that's available. And looking closely at the card, the Five of Pentacles always has the stained glass window, which is a representation of looking at things from a spiritual perspective. And all Five Pentacles are positioned there. Right at the stained glass, it's indicating help is nearby. This also is that number five energy, which has to do with the throat chakra. It can shake things up. It can really throw you. It's a difficult energy, but it does have to do with your communication. Indicating Scorpio, if you need to speak up, if you need some help this week. Now, when the five of pentacles shows up, it's indicating everyone does at some time or other are in need and you need to reach out to others around you. And these two individuals here, they're right outside a church. So that kind of ties into your anchor card here. Calling upon, possibly questioning your belief system at this time, because the five of pentacles has an energy of feeling like you've been left out in the cold, that you're missing out. Things are unstable and there is a lack of security. But it is Pentacles energy. And so this card is saying, pay attention to the wealth that's around you. That could be available to you if you communicate that you are in need of help. Now, the Five of Pentacles is also Taurus's card. So it's very stubborn, determined energy, having pride not wanting to ask for the help that's needed. But this card is also associated with the planet Mercury, which has everything to do with communication. So Scorpio, you need to communicate if you are indeed in need of help, especially for this week with the holiday. Now your next card, the Ace of Pentacles. And looking at the card, you see, this is a gift from the divine here. And with it being pentacles, it's something coming in that can be the beginning of financial gain for you. So for some of you, it could be a new job being presented to you. This could also be a good chance or opportunity to improve your health. This could be money coming in that you can invest in your future, Scorpio. Now, when the Ace of Pentacles shows up, it usually is telling you to spend some time out in nature. And depending on which hemisphere you live in right now, it might be a bit chilly. But you can at least take a short walk to clear your head. There's going to be messages and guidance waiting for you from spirit. And the Ace of Pentacles here, this is a gift being presented to you, Scorpio, but you have to see it and grab it and nurture it to bring it to fruition. And the arch here on the card represents openings to new paths and going through it presents the possibility of something new coming in. And the actual hand here 
represents divine intervention, spiritual gifts. Giving, receiving. And the energy of this card is tied to your first chakra. That's your root chakra, your base, the chakra of grounding and survival and manifestation. So the card is representing strengthening your root Scorpio to ground and center your body and then begin building on this foundation for the future. Now your numerology for the three cards here is 11. And 11 is one of only three master numbers in numerology. It is a sign of enormous power, both mentally and physically. And the master number brings more spiritual awareness, which really ties into your Hierophant card. So this is indicating a higher source of wisdom. And the number 11 is comprised of the number one side by side. One is about being innovated and motivated to be open to new things and eager to make a difference. This power and energy is a channel for truth and answers to reach you, Scorpio, and help you on your way. It's like getting crystal clear vision and just tapping into higher wisdom that others choose not to. So your numerology really taps into the message of the Hierophant card. Now, going on to take a look at the rest of your cards, your first card is the overall energy for this reading. And you have the major arcana card, the star. Okay. Your crystal for the week, seraphonite, very angelic. And your tea leaf card messages. And two fell out. You have wind chimes and nest. Okay. Now going back to your overall energy here, the star. You have a really nice overall energy this week, which is going to carry you through the entire week, no matter what challenges are possibly going on around you. The star represents hope and optimism. It's that fresh start after the destruction of the tower on the fool's journey. So what this represents is after the darkest hour comes the dawn of a new day. So even though you do have the five of pentacles, Scorpio, as you can see, you have a lot of spiritual energy this week. And you have the Ace of Pentacles coming in for you. Now, the star card indicates to pay attention to the divine arts. Pay attention to your inner guiding self. There's angelic messages around you, Scorpio. You need to be open to receive them. And here's your indication. You've got this bright star above this individual. This is hope and wishes, and it's providing guidance, and illumination. The star card is associated with the seventh chakra, and that's your direct connection with spirit. And the number 17 of the star card reduces to number eight, and number eight is abundance. It represents honor and respect, and it brings together material and spiritual resources with this number. So what you're going to be needing this week, Scorpio, will be provided to you as long as you have faith and you communicate to others. You need to communicate what it is you need at this time. Now next, your angels and guides have suggested seraphonite. This is a beautiful healing crystal which aids in angelic communication. This ties right into your reading here. Because for some of you, you might be changing up your beliefs here with the Hierophant card. And then you're tapping in directly with spirit. The Seraphonite crystal indicates you need to be honest with yourself, Scorpio. Take time to identify any changes that you need to make in your life. And this could actually be your spiritual beliefs at this time. 
Listen to what your heart says, Scorpio. You need to stay true to yourself and be careful of accepting other people's agendas or their advice at this time. As this energy is indicating, there could be people around you clouding your judgment with their viewpoints, which will end up to be self-serving. So meditating with the Seraphonite crystal this week, especially with company coming over, can help you to receive signs and messages from your angels and guides. So trust in what you see, what you sense, what you hear and feel. As this crystal concerns your third eye chakra, that's your perception and your intuition. Trust in that, Scorpio. Now your next is your tea leaf message and two cards flew out. You have wind chimes indicating peace and harmony and you have nest here, which is indicating an emotionally secure loving family is important to you, Scorpio. And these two messages combined are indicating that you are part of a supportive and loving family and it indicates you will find peace and harmony amidst your troubles this week. So your summary for the week here with your reading, Scorpio, you start off with the Hierophant card, which can be indicating that you're losing your faith this week due to a situation. Now for others, this can represent that you are an advisor, a minister, or a teacher. And to take a good look if what you're teaching is still relevant and receptive to your students. But for some Scorpios, the Hierophant shows up indicating it's time now to question your belief system. Something is making you reevaluate what you've always known. The number five energy of this card creates an upset in the balance within you, Scorpio. It's a difficult energy that presents a challenge especially when you're starting out on a new path or a new belief. Now, your five of pentacles could be the situation you find yourself in this week, one of which might be lacking sufficient funds for gifts this week or being too proud to ask for help that is needed. And once again, this is the five energy. And five is the number of the throat chakra. It has to do with your communication this week, Scorpio. And this card is indicating you have to let people know that you need assistance. And your Ace of Pentacles card here is like your prayers being answered. This is an opportunity coming in, the help that you need, Scorpio. And the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity coming in, possibly a chance to improve your health, if that was the situation, it can be money coming in to invest in your future or pay some bills this week. It could be a new job opportunity or even a chance for a promotion where you'll make more money. This is something coming in Scorpio to help you out this week, to give you a good and solid foundation to build on. Now the numerology of your cards here is the master number 11 indicating the tremendous power physically and mentally available here, especially in regards to spiritual growth. And your overall energy card of the star is your driving force this week. The star is one of hope and optimism, and this overall energy is what is going to keep you going this week. The star is illuminating the guidance and direction for you, Scorpio. And your angels and guides are suggesting to meditate with the Seraphonite crystal so you can hear the angelic communication coming down. First, indicating that you need to be honest with yourself. And second, to listen to what you truly want, Scorpio. This can be in regards to your Hierophant card. You might be thinking about changing up your beliefs and you need to do what is best for you, Scorpio. It is associated with the third eye chakra, so trust in your intuition this week. And your tea leaf messages are indicating that you will end up finding peace and harmony this week despite your situation. 
as you do have a loving, supportive family around you. Thank you so much for joining me today, Scorpio. If you would like to obtain further information, just click on my website link below for your own private reading. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. And please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Happy holidays to my Scorpio family.